Yep. We talked about the war, but how does it affect the economy? First, first scenario. Okay. This is a confined war, right. Israel against Gaza, basically, in Gaza. Right. A confined war. So this here we go, here to here, that's where the fight is. That's the confined war situation at the moment. Uh, the price of oil likely to go up to $92 a barrel is from 88. 88. Okay. 88 now, likely to go up to 92 if it stays as a confined war. Scenario number two, we can move to that, a wider war. Israel versus the, in the region, where right. it's fighting the uh, Lebanon, the uh, Hezbollah in Lebanon. So there be bombings coming here. There yes. be bombing in here, yes. keeping an eye here, and of course you have to always worry about the West Bank. But just with two fronts is what? I think we're between scenario one and scenario two at this moment. The price of oil likely to rise to ninety-six dollars a barrel if you're looking at a region-wide war. Now, suppose it expands, where Israel is directly taking on Iran. Right. There's a fight between the two. That's the widest war imaginable at this moment. So you have here to here, and then you have here into the Strip, and then you have to worry about Lebanon down here, and then you still have to produce oil to fuel the world. Yes, and it's likely to go to $152 a barrel if you have this wide war. The bottom line is, the wider the war, the higher the price of oil, the more inflation around the world and in America, and therefore the slowing economy around the world. It's none of it good. Stuart, does that explain why Germany, the UK, the US, and France all met yesterday? Yes. Is that why the Netherlands is going over to visit Netanyahu today? Everyone seems to be worried about this, not only the death and destruction, sure. but it's going to ripple everywhere. Confine the war if possible. That's what the West wants at this point. Confine it. If it is expanded, we all suffer. Remember, there's, there's also something else you've got to cover here, and that's interest rates. The wider the war, the higher the price of oil, the more inflation, therefore, interest rates go up. You've already got 8% mortgages in America. That goes up from here if you've got a widening war. You know what I'm also thinking about? It was because we're so aware of this uh, global supply chain. Insurance. So if, I, if I'm sitting there with a ship going across the ocean and I have oil, I could be targeted. Yep. It becomes more dangerous. Up come the rates. Up come the oil price. Everything becomes more dangerous. Up goes inflation. Up go interest rates. Everybody loses. Not good. And in the big picture, too, when you look at uh, who benefits, who produces oil. Iran produces oil, now mostly a lot of it on the black market. So does Russia produce oil. And Saudi Arabia produces a lot of oil. Right. If the price goes up and up and up, over $100 a barrel, think how much more money is flooding into the Mideast and Saudi Arabia in particular. Is that what you're going to be discussing today? I shall indeed. Right. Well, on, the got the impact, to. Uh, on the impact, uh, on the economic impact in yeah, Because I think we're shifting from scenario one to scenario two as we speak. It's widening as we speak. So the threat and the danger is widening as we speak. Does, would it help in the way the global oil market works if we produce more oil on our own or does it just go into the global uh, Kitty. No, it goes into the world supply of oil. If we had not stopped our energy independence on day one of this administration, we could be producing a lot more oil now than we are. And, even and that if, would help. And even if it is up, it's not as up as it could be oh, no. because we got off. No, the oil industry has been starved of capital deliberately. So you can't just turn a switch and suddenly produce another extra three or four million barrels of oil a day. You can't do that. We've lost our opportunity to do that two years ago, three years ago. Stuart Varney, you're coming up in 29 noon. Thanks so much, Stuart. Appreciate it. Brian, Great to see you. you. Thank you. On his feet.